guys uh, today let's see how to use the uh, cordova camera plugin in our ionic 2 application uh, so let's get started uh, guys the another thing to notice is that uh, ionic came out with a new release again on uh, March 7 I think March 7 so kindly refer the change log for the features updated and uh, you know the changes made I'll just start first of all Next start camera Blank. We'll be using the Cordova plugin camera in this app, guys. So, you know, you get an idea of how to use the Cordova plugins in an Ionic 2 application. Not all the plugins are supported, obviously, uh, but you know, they're trying to bring in the support with every release, and uh, this camera plugin especially is supported. So, I, I'll show you how to do that. We'll be writing a simple application using which you can take a picture, and then the picture will get displayed on your uh, application, front end application. I'll just go ahead and pass the recording here so that you know you guys can have a steam, uh, seamless video and uh, you need not wait for it. Uh, yeah, the app is now ready, guys. Okay, now uh, we need to add a plugin to our application. First, we'll just cd into the application folder and then using this command ionic uh, plugin add Cordova plugin camera. See, it's the usual way of adding a plugin as in ionic version one also so there's nothing new about this one uh, let's wait for it to get uh, installed okay now the plugin has been added now uh, let's open up brackets And I have my camera app opened up here. Yeah. So uh, now, if you see the plugins directory, You could see that uh, the plugin has been added. Open up fetch.json and you could see that Cordova Cam plugin camera has been added. So now we can use this in our application. So let's get started with the application. As usual, inside the apps directory, inside the pages, we have a home page. Just the home page since we gave blank uh, while we created uh, the application. So let's open up our home.html first of all. And then uh, we'll remove this stuff. We just need a button. To invoke the camera thing camera function so button on click take a big okay now we have a button then we'll uh, wire this button up to a function here import page we'll be using a zone in G zone Now ng zone is a simple feature of angular 2 uh, which enables people I mean which enables things to run outside of angular app run outside of an angular application for example an asynchronous task uh, or something that in uh, which does not require angular js it can be run outside and then uh, it, the fire, fire value returned or when it needs to change something in the DOM it, the control could be returned back to the uh, angular application that's the use of a ng zone you could read about it in the documentation here I don't think I explained it much clearly but uh, you could read it in the docs here so let's use that in, an, in our application and you will be you know maybe you'll better understand it so uh, let's get started static get this is as usual as usual get parameters and 
and then inside our constructor we will use that okay uh, now we will write the take pick method take pick method first of all uh, as in and uh, the version one i mean the plugin uh, which we are going to use is the Cordova camera plugin and uh, by default the plug in the while taking a picture we could give some options to that uh, uh, while taking the picture we could give some options in runtime we'll give that now options equal to um, what are those are the first we'll give the destination type destination type please this camera dot destination type dot at url this is the same as angular uh, gee, not angular ionic version one guys there's nothing new about it this is how we use in uh, the cordo ca camera plugin as in ionic uh, one also so you could see the documentation for the plugin to get an idea about all this but it's pretty much self-explanatory right camera dot uh, picture source type I think yeah picture source type dot camera and uh, we also need to give a encoding type which format it would be saved camera dot uh, encoding type dot J. Okay. Now uh, we could add a few more options like uh, maybe quality. We'll give hundred, and then uh, allow edit. We'll give false, and then uh, what else? Uh, save to photo album. This also will be false. Okay. Now we we have some options. Let's just uh, invoke the camera function to get take the picture. That is navigator dot uh, camera. This is the global thing which the plugin adds to our application so that it could be accessed anywhere. Camera could be accessed anywhere using that plugin. Oh, I'll use it inside this picture. Mm. And uh, it'll return data right okay uh, camera dot get picture camera dot get picture will have three things success callback and error callback and options as given in the documentation first we'll write the success callback if uh, it's a success it will return some data uh, and what we need to do is uh, first we'll store this data uh, in the page 64 format JPEG. Is 64. Okay. Uh, then what we'll do is we'll use the zone here. This dot zone dot run. And uh, so, uh, we'll first use. Uh, this dot image this dot maybe we'll have a variable here so that we can use this uh, image uh, to be displayed uh, uh, i mean you can call this image from the uh, front end i mean html file using a image tag so i'm just using a local variable here and uh, this will update the value of the local variable this dot uh, image equal to image data yeah so uh, now you might get an idea of zone right uh, the actually the navigator dot camera dot get picture will invoke the camera and you'll be taking a picture uh, but uh, you need to come back into the angular application and then uh, not only that you need to uh, take that picture and update it in the dom right so that it will be displayed on the front screen so uh, to update it on the dom we need to update the this dot image variable uh, which is previously initialized as null in the constructor so I'm using this dot zone dot run and the ng zone thing and then updating the data Im uh, image data which is the base 64 format to the uh, to that variable so that uh, the image could be displayed on the front end. Uh, now we'll write uh, write an error callback. Error callback will have a similar thing. 
error. I'll write an alert error. Just an alert. And then one more thing is options. Yeah, we have the options here ready. Options. I'll pass our options. Okay, uh, that's all the code uh, that's the code for the take pick uh, thing. And then okay if everything go no we need to display it on different different right we have a button we'll we'll uh, maybe use a card um, card ng src equal to auto set uh, image ah yeah now we'll have a button and we'll have a card below that first the thing will be null so nothing will be displayed in the card uh, after that uh, our image which we are take using the camera to take will get stored in the image variable and this since we are using this image variable in the front end and since we are using this dot zone dot run it will update the DOM and that image will be displayed in our uh, mobile app now uh, to run this we can't you know just like that run it in a browser right since we are using the camera uh, plugin which is a native plugin obviously so I'll run this on my mobile and uh, screencast it uh, to my system which, which i guess would be the best option to do first of all i'll add platform sorry platform add and okay it has been added uh, now i'll just you know run this on my phone What's the error? Some error is showing up. Put in G zone from Angular to core. Oh, we use this parenthesis. No, it should be the curly ones. Sorry. Yeah. Now, as this gets, you know, built and run, we'll just. yeah this is my mobile phone which i'm screencasting now once the app gets deployed it will get displayed here let's just wait for it as you can see now we have a uh, the app in our phone and there is a button and since we gave initialize the value with null the image tag it uh, displays a broken image or something now i'll just uh, click on the click button you can see that the camera has opened up right yeah now you could see that the camera has opened up there's a small lag here so you know might not be able to see it in live so uh, now we'll just you know take a picture now 
oh it's not getting displayed on the thing let me see why is that happening why is that happening okay doesn't seem to be a problem here just a minute guys i'll just debug that yeah sorry guys i just made an error here this is this dot ng zone i have given here whereas here i have given it as this dot zone right that is the error i'll just you know remove uh, the ng from there and then run it again just click it and then you know take a picture save it there you could see that our picture is now getting displayed on the ua using the since we used uh, image tag inside the ion card so this is the way to use the cordova camera plugin in your ionic 2 application guys hope this tutorial was useful to you uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like this video or if you found this tutorial useful and also please share it with your friends uh, if if they would faced any problem with this uh, uh, using cordova plugin uh so yeah that's it guys uh, if you have any doubts or if you need any more videos or tutorials or if you have any suggestions uh, uh, please leave it in a comment below and i'll uh, you know uh, talk to you if you have any suggestions for any other tutorials which you would like to see about ionic 2 or angular 2 uh, kindly leave it uh, in the comment the entire code i have written so far in this tutorial will be available on github uh, and also uh, i leave a link to that github repo in my uh, blog uh, the you description in, in this video description you will find a link to my blog so yeah that's it guys see you in my next video uh, have a nice day peace